Welcome back, future CPA, to another episode of CPAGuide.tv. My name again is Brian Kessler. I'm a certified public accountant, and I am here today to discuss how old is too old to sit for the CPA exam. So let's grab your walkers and your canes because we're getting jiggy today. All right, future CPA. So I got a great comment from a follower. His name is Ruchira. And I wanted to address what he asked. And um, first of all, keep the comments coming on all these videos. I really enjoy helping individual people out. So the more comments you guys leave on these videos, the more opportunities for new content that I can create to answer your question. So um, Ruchir, he left a bit of a lengthy comment here, but basically the key facts are that he's 35, he's international, so not a US citizen, and he has a master's degree. So he's wondering at this point in his career, is it worth taking the CPA exam or should he just try and find a job um, on his own without having a CPA license and so forth? So it's a great question. And the short answer is yes, you're never too old to take the CPA exam. And here's why. The first is that, you know, sometimes you hit a, a career ceiling where you can't really get anywhere else in your current company. Maybe you want to transfer to a different company. Having your CPA license is going to set you apart and it's going to get you to where you want to go faster because at the end of the day, Everyone has a master's degree, everyone has an MBA, but not that many people have a CPA. And the majority of companies will recognize the fact that one, CPA exam is an extremely difficult exam and people know how difficult it is because of you know, it's a prestigious uh, license to have. So if you can pass the CPA exam, they're gonna know exactly what type of person you are and they're going to also compensate you better because you can't, you're worth more to a company as a CPA. Other folks want to get a CPA because they want flexibility in their career. So maybe they're stuck in a dead end accounting position. Getting a CPA would get one, get them out of that dead end position, but then also maybe transfer into a completely new industry or work for the FBI, go into teaching, work for the CIA, or go to a private or public accounting or whatever it is that your ultimate goal is, the CPA is going to get you there faster as well. And other people who are further along in their career, maybe they wanna start their own company, start their own accounting firm, their tax practice, whatever it might be. Having a CPA is going to, one, help attract better quality clients because they're gonna trust you. They see that you're a CPA, they know that you have unique knowledge, and expertise in accounting. And so getting a CPA and then niching down into a very specific accounting niche is also a great opportunity for you to start your own company, your practice firm, whatever it is that your ultimate goal is. And again, this can help you at any age you are. So age really doesn't matter. It's ultimately what is your ultimate goal and will the CPA exam help you get there faster? So that's what you need to determine now if you're considering the CPA exam. Now, a question that I get asked all the time is, okay, Brian, I've been out of school for 20 years now, 30 years, 40, whatever it might be. How in the world am I going to study and actually pass the CPA exam? And it's a great question. Now, the good news is that today's CPA review courses are excellent. So they're going to teach you exactly what you need to know to pass the CPA exam. But here's the problem. So you have been out of school for a while. So you haven't been studying. You haven't been having to memorize tons of information. You know, it's, it's, you're going to have to um, figure out a method to follow if you're serious about taking the CPA exam. So what I teach to all my students is what's called the UCEG method. So the UCEG method says that there are basically three primary resources that you need to pass a CPA exam, regardless of your age. So you're going to need the time. So if you're working 80 hours a week nonstop, you're probably not gonna have much luck with a CPA exam, especially if you're later in life. So you're going to need to maybe step back a little bit and the number of hours that you're working and so forth. So once you have optimized your time, and typically I recommend about 20 hours a week if you're serious about the CPA exam. So just take that into account looking at your schedule. So um, once you have the time carved out and um, you know, in my premium course, Ultimate CPA Exam Guide, I'll help you optimize your time based on your specific situation. So again, everyone's situation is different, but I have some worksheets and stuff that can help you get there. And basically we'll do what's called a life audit to help you get there. 
So once you have your life audit figured out, then it's time to find a CPA review course. So if you head over to cpaexamguide.com, I've got a, and I'll put the link below this video in the details and in the comment section, um, I'll help you find a CPA review course. So it's very crucial, especially if you're later in life, to find a CPA review course that's based on what's called your study personality. Some people learn very well from watching videos, others do it from reading text, others from answering questions and so forth. So depending on how you learn best, you're gonna to wanna to find a CPA review course that maximizes those learning strengths that you have. And if you don't know your study personality, head over to freecpaquiz.com now. It's going to um, basically ask you a few questions, help you identify your study personality, and then also provide you with some recommendations for CPA review courses that will help you uh, based on your personality. So that's the next step. So then you gotta optimize your CPA review course. And then the final step of the um, UCEG method is to find a mentor. So if you've been out of school for a long time, the chances of you being surrounded by folks who are also taking the CPA exam, it's probably pretty low. So unless you know several people who have passed the CPA exam recently and can give you specific guidance, if you are older in life, later in your career, you'll definitely want to find a mentor. I myself am a CPA exam mentor, so, and I'd love to help you. And the best way to start figuring out where to find a mentor is to head over to www.cpaexammentor.com. When you have your time optimized, when you have the right CPA review course for your specific study personality, and you find a mentor, what's going to happen is that you're going to have the perfect study plan because you're going to have a mentor teach you how to plan for the exam and you're gonna have time to study. So that's gonna give you the perfect study plan. And then when you have time and your CPA review course with a perfect study plan, you're going to have a perfect grasp of what are called the AICPA blueprints. So the blueprints are exactly what you need to know in order to pass the CPA exam and your CPA review course will teach you all of them. And then um, once you have the perfect grasp of the blueprints, it's time to sit for the exam. Now, no matter what happens, because you have a mentor and a CPA review course with customer support, you're going to have the perfect support team to hold your hand regardless of what happens. So the pass rates of the CPA exam, I'm not gonna sugarcoat it, they are extremely low. So expect between 48 to 55% of people end up passing each individual section. Failure is a real possibility with the CPA exam, so that's why it's important to have the perfect support team that's going to provide you with community, motivation, and a blueprint to follow, regardless of whether you pass or you fail. Because when you pass, then you can you risk getting overconfident, you get start getting lazy, and so forth. You need somebody to continue to push you, and if you fail, it can be mentally demoralizing. You, you risk falling into depression, and you really need a cheerleader to help keep you going and to motivate you to keep uh, recover from failure and then retake the exam, pass it so that you can continue moving on. So that's the, that's the UCEG method in a nutshell. So if you are somebody who is older in life, you know, I've helped people who are in their 60s even pass the CPA exam. So again, you are not too old to sit for the CPA exam, especially if you're an international student or international um, you know, US transplant, then taking the CPA exam can absolutely help you and also help you back in uh, wherever you're from as well because the US CPA is an internationally recognized license as well. So. If you have the time, if you have the money, then I highly recommend taking the CPA exam. It's going to help you get to where you want faster and will set you apart from the other uh, crowd who's got their MBA and their masters and so forth. So hopefully that answers your question. Go ahead, like this video, leave another comment if you have any questions about your specific situation and I might be able to make a video or just reply to you and uh, help you out. So thank you again for watching and I'll catch up with you in the next video.